All right, we got another unboxing today. Um, I'm actually really excited, excited about this one because this is three engines that I bought from this one guy. Um, he's moving, and so he was trying to get rid of all the stock. Um, and yeah, so he's trying to get rid of, uh, uh, rid of a, lot, a lot of his stuff. Um, and so I got these engines for a pretty solid deal. Um, one of them is very broken, but um, that one actually is <laughs> rather rare to find these days. And so therefore, I'm pretty excited to see how it is. I was concerned at how at his packaging abilities though because he said he didn't have much packaging material so and i'm not surprised <laughs> um that the engines are like this so i really hope that this arrives safely because i quite frankly do not trust this kind of packaging material because well i heard the box shaking when i took it out it was, you could definitely tell it was loose. Something was loose inside there. So that's the purpose of this video to make sure that everything I bought did arrive safe. You'll see that something like this has no packaging on the outside whatsoever. And so this thing effectively has no protection because again, there's nothing on each side of, of the engine for packaging. So this is why you need to package things properly. Same thing here. There's no packaging on the side at all whatsoever. So if the box hits something, it will just, the, all the force will just go right into this cardboard. So this is not a safe way to package stuff. So I really hope that it arrives safe. Um, <laughs> this is kind of a mess. All right, I don't think we have anything else inside there. So I'm gonna place that aside. And here is everything. So, oh boy. All right. So I'm gonna place the camera down real quick. There's something inside here. I can't tell. Okay, yeah, there is something inside here. So we have one thing, two things, three things, four, five, six. So that at least totals out because I bought three engines and I told him to package the tenders, engines and tenders separately, which I'm glad he really did because otherwise we'd have some other issues on our hands. <laughs> but anyways. So yeah, let's get these things opened up. So this guy models B and O. Um and it, appear, it appears that, at least for steam engines, which he basically, he has diesel and steam. His diesels were all like early gen diesels, but they weren't in, you know, they, I'm not really super interested in diesels and they don't really, they're not really worth that much. So I mostly focus on the steam that I wanted to get off his hands. Um, steam generally being worth a little bit more. And this stuff was all from Bachman. So yeah, take that for what you will. But yeah, these are all Bachman engines. So if you could guess from this thing, the first engine is a 460. This is their um, modern, not Spectrum, 460 run of engines. Um, and these are, they're, they're the standard line engines, so they're less detailed. Um, they actually intentionally removed some detail parts when they converted their Spectrum 460 into the standard line 460, which is usually not something I usually like to see um, because they actively removed detail. <laughs> from their tooling in order to, I guess, cheapen the process of making these engines. Um, but yeah, that, I don't usually recommend you buy a, four, a 460. Uh, here's another one. So this one came with the truck falling off. Um, anyway, so that was the 460 tender. This is actually in pretty solid condition. Um, all the stirrup steps are present. Nothing's broken off, which is good to see. There is some weird looking water damage on the top here. I hope that's not an issue. Um, for this tender, you can see that clearly the uh, truck has fallen off. Um, looks like this, oh, the screw's there. Okay, yeah, it looks like just the screw got loose and broke off. So that shouldn't be an issue though. At the very least, the ladder and the stirrup steps are present. And that's really what I'm mostly worried about. So put that aside. Um, next up we have, this feels like an engine. Actually, no, this is the third tender. So, okay. So if you guys can introduce the second tender uh, is from their um, 280 engines. And I believe this is actually a Spectrum engine. Um, however, unlike the 460, 
when they converted the 280 from Spectrum to standard line, they actually didn't remove any of the details. So at the very least, that engine is more or less the same as a Spectrum run. So this one is standard. This one is Spectrum li line, though. It's the older style. Um, but yeah, they're identical. These are nice models. So, And the third tender looks like this. Now, if you know anything about Bachmann, you know that this is an EM1. So... I'm pretty excited about this one. Now, unfortunately, the EM1 is the one that actually has damage. So the other two should be in good condition. He said they run, they run and they're really good. Uh, but this one apparently hit, uh, suffered a drop to the floor. So I wouldn't be surprised if this engine got some damage. Surprisingly, the tender actually looks really solid. There's um, the broken coupler, but otherwise it's a little bit dusty. The ladder's a little bit jank. But otherwise, like the underbody details all there. There's no scratch. There's no scratch. Well, it was a little bit there, but not really any scratches and it's a really nice tender wow okay um one wire as you can see here is broken off so that probably is why it doesn't run <laughs> um but yeah all right so now these two i assume these are the two small engines combined together but yeah so i got all three, all three of these engines um for a pretty solid price um I don't want to disclose that information though until I unpack everything. But yeah, so these are all, those are the three tenders. And then let's see how the engines fared. This is honestly what I'm more worried about. Because, especially that big one, because I don't know. I don't really trust how he packs things. I don't trust how most people pack things, to be honest though. So it's not like I'm, uh, how the heck do you do this? There we go. All right, yeah, I'm not saving this bubble wrap, unfortunately, because I had to cut it. But, um, here we go. Here's one of them. And then here is the other one. Okay, so. Here is the first engine. These look like little nuggets. <laughs> it's actually pretty fun. Let's see what this one is. Here is the 280. So actually I lied. This one's actually not Vienna. This one's actually Santa Fe. Um, yeah, this engine is in surprisingly good condition. The whistle and... The, yeah, the whistle and these things are usually the first to break off. But I'm surprised that these are actually all intact, which is rather impressive. This engine is a little bit dirty, as you can see, there's definitely some dust, and, um, yeah, but otherwise it is complete, which is solid, that's very good to see. I'm gonna place this over here. Next up, this is obviously the 460, because it's tiny. Let's see how this turned out. Ooh, okay, there we go. No, no parts, that's good to see. No loose parts. Um, and here's the engine. So yeah, another, another thing you could tell that it's, a, it's the later, it's the newer run is the fact that it's a one solid um, pin instead of two separate, two separate um, connectors. This is just one solid connector. That's one thing they did when they converted to standard line, at least for certain engines, is a white pin and it's, and I believe, what is this, nine, eight pins? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight pins. Um, so yeah, definitely a little bit neater, but yeah, these, these compared to the spectrum ones, these lose actually has a lot less detail because you can see that these are, this stuff's all molded on, whereas in the spectrum runs, this used to all be separately applied. Um, this still appears to be separately applied, but this stuff also used to be separately applied, but these standard line ones are, are molded on. So yeah. Otherwise though, this is in also very good condition. I'm honestly so impressed that none of this has suffered damage. Um, through shipping. <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty solid engine. Uh, if you guys didn't know, these 460s are actually... Oh, actually, no, something did break off. So that, I'll have to look. It appears that there's glue, so I assume it didn't break during shipping, but rather it was broken before he shipped it all together. Um, I'm not going to really count that as a mark toward him, because I did get them for a good price, as I said. So, but that is something that he did not mention anywhere. <laughs> 
I also, I should note, I bought these on Facebook Marketplace. This is not eBay. So I, I'm a little bit more lenient um, for that kind of stuff. Especially because this guy is just trying to make some money before he moves. And I, I kind of feel bad that he has to sell off all his engines. Um, it's always, it's never a good day to see someone else have having to uh, sell off their engines. Sell off their entire roster, so. Yeah, if, if on, on, on another hand though, if the guy was just trying to make a profit, then I'd be a little more, uh, a little bit more strict. But again, this guy, he's just trying to sell stuff off, and I feel bad, so I'm okay if some of the stuff is damaged. So yeah, uh, this 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 uh, engine has taken a hit to the floor. So again, I expect this to be messy to say the least. But let's see how it is. So I think I should do wide angle here. Oh boy. So right off the bat, there's some stuff on the on the sheet there. Not really sure what that is. It looks like a coupler. So here is the engine. <laughs> this thing is absolutely humongous. Oh, something else fell off. Not really sure what that is, to be honest. Okay, so... <laughs> Where to begin? Let us see all the parts that this thing will require to be repaired. First things first, this thing is very clearly not the highest quality engine. You can see that it's it's very flimsy. Um, I don't know, I might I'm not surprised because this Bachman and this thing is designed to run on 22 and traders curves, which is ridiculous, but it just it feels cheap. You, despite it being a very high quality engine in all regards um yeah i'll have to compare to prototype or uh, photos of the complete engine to see what's broken but well right off the bat uh one of these handrails is completely just bent um as you can see there it's not broken it's bent though horribly bent um there's some damage here rather minor though to be honest um Honestly, I'm not really seeing any major damage. I'm really glad that the boiler is not like cracked or anything like that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I can't really tell what's damaged. I mean, there's some broken rods. That's that's obvious though. Um, I assume there was something here because this pipe just kind of goes nowhere. So there's probably something there. That shouldn't be that free turning, I assume. Yeah, there's, I think there's something wrong with the mechanism here, but oh well. Um, but just visually speaking, the front actually looks complete. And again, I'll have to compare with photos closer to see what's actually missing or broken, but so far it's looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, now yeah, the, the front, this side also looks rather solid there's another hole there so i assume there used to be something there but it's gone probably a stanchion oh here's another stanchion that's broken so okay yeah here's actually the broken stanchion so yeah two broken stanchions i'm kind of curious where it got dropped because there's damage on this side there's damage over here i don't really know um yeah and the rods on this side look fine so Something is loose here, so that's probably something also. I don't really see signs of a drop, to be honest. It just looks like minor damage in certain areas. Um, and that broken tender wire, obviously. Here's another sign that it is an older Spectrum model, because it has these. Um, Bachman never made this in standard line, although a lot of people really want them to, because this is an excellent model, and it's a shame that they haven't made it in the standard line. They haven't brought it back. Here's a broken bell cord. Um... That's not super useful to be honest. So I'm actually just gonna break that off, I think, because there's no, because um, you know this is too fragile. It's way too fragile. I'm just gonna break it off. Actually, there we go. Because yeah, it's just not worth having a little cord stick up. All right. So obviously, in the broken, the front coupler is completely mangled. I'm surprised that these things actually are still here. <laughs> um, these would I would expect to be the first to go. So that's impressive. 
little crew figures can have inside there. It's super nice. Um, so, okay, to summarize the damage, there's this bit here, broken couple in the front, a missing, missing um, thing here, some possible missing stuff here, though, although I don't think it's actually missing. I just, I don't know. I'll have to look. And look, and then lastly, the um, mangled thing here, and then the missing wire on the draw, on the draw bar, or on the cable there. Otherwise, though, this engine looks complete. I'm going to spend another, like, 20, 30 minutes looking at photos to make sure nothing's broken. Oh, also, this thing is really mangled. So, anyways. Um, yeah, but besides that, though, this thing honestly looks very decent. Also, a little bit of a chip on the front of this tender. Um, and then there's this mystery thing here. I assume it has something to do with the fact that the front is so free-rolling. Because um, it shouldn't be this... I don't know. I'll have to figure out where this thing goes. But, anyways... Um, that is pretty much, that is, uh, so that summarizes my unboxing here. Three engines, and now I'll tell you guys the prices. So, I paid, um, I paid $85 for these two. These are running condition. He claimed to be brand new, but obviously there's a missing little thing here. But otherwise, $85 for both of these engines, uh, which is solid. And then this, I paid $75 for. And then shipping was, um... $16, even though he actually paid $21 for shipping, $21 for shipping, but uh, this was six, he, char uh, six, he charged me $16 shipping, $75 for this, $85 for these two, when that's an absolute steal, because, you know, these go for, these, especially this one goes for a lot more, um, despite this one being damaged, obviously, but, um, yeah, this, this thing will absolutely go for a lot more, actually, one of my friends is modeling BNO, and he's really interested in this one, so I'll have to see if I can, you know, repair it and stuff like that, um, and I don't even know. I might keep it. Screw it. I don't know. <laughs> but because uh, this, this thing is a beast. So, but anyways, yeah, that is the three engines I bought today. I'm really excited. Um, I paid, I think, like 176 total, if that, if my math adds up, um, for these three engines. And I'm gonna probably resell these. And or actually, I might keep the 280. I'm definitely gonna resell this. And I don't know about this one yet. And I don't know about this one either. But for the meantime, I'm just gonna tinker around this area because I'm like, I have no other models to work on or work on in college. So. Um, yeah, but I am genuinely surprised at how good this engine, how good this uh, engine uh, condition is. Uh, I expected this to be a lot worse. Uh, again, I expected, I expected like a cracked boiler or something like that, but this thing honestly looks fine. So that being said, I still have to look inside, you know, there might, again, I just still don't know where this came from. So this is clearly an axle of some sort. So something inside is probably broken. Um, but anyways, I'm just renting at this point. So I'm going to call it there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment down below if you have any comments or questions or stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.